In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the PDF extension so that we can create these nicely formatted PDF tables uh, in our Thunkable apps. Let's get started. Hello, welcome back to another Thunkable tip. My name is Donald, and this one we want to introduce the idea of creating a PDF file within your app. So to do this, we're going to go kind of a little bit beyond the scope of the beginner tutorials and we're going to introduce one of the nicest features about them, which is the ability to use um, components that are called extensions. So these are non-core components. In this case, what we're doing is we're going to use one developed by Andres here, who's an extension developer in the Thunkable community. And this is for generating um, offline PDF tables. So there's a, a library here, JSPDF. Uh, developed by Simon Bangstrom, which is uh, kind of the basis of this code, I believe. And Anders has included two examples. So if you want to create your own from scratch, you need this AIX file here. So uh, we can click on that. That's the actual extension file that we want. But when we're getting started, it's probably a good idea to look at the uh, reference app first. So very helpfully, we've got a um, example, AIA file. Okay, so uh, once you're in Thunkable, then what you can do is you can upload an app from your computer and what you want to do is choose the AIA file directly from your downloads. So when that opens up, you'll see the generate PDF example that Andres has created and it has three components, a button, an activity starter and generate PDF. Generate PDF, then you can see there's nothing for us to tweak, nothing for us to change and in activity starter, the uh, all the properties are left blank for the moment. There are a few um, JavaScript and HTML files in here and you can download those and you can have a look at them in your own time as well. But what we want to do is um, just figure out what's happening in this example app. So uh, first thing we've got up here is a JSON table. I know it's a JSON table because if I click on this blue question mark here, I've got a comment telling me it's a JSON table. It contains um, lists of numbers and strings uh, and we can scroll through it here. We can see there's Denmark and Copenhagen and Switzerland, and Bern and all the sorts of numbers in here. And all of these different um, objects then are separated with commas in between as well. So the title then, uh, we could change this maybe to cities and just to see where the information is going to go. And then the columns. So the columns parameter here, uh, it needs to be JSON format. So conveniently uh, the generate PDF extension has a JSON encoder built into it. You could use the web component as well. I think that would work fine. And um, what we're doing here is making a list with the headings for your table. So ID, country, rank, capital. We'll see those in the um, in the preview at the end. And then the final thing is uh, the table here. So this needs this input again also has to be JSON. And the table then that we're passing, this is the table of data that goes underneath the headings. Um, so in this case, it's cities and their um, global ranks and satisfaction or something like this may be in here. Uh, and finally then, we just use an activity starter to launch the whole thing here. Um, so let's take, the, take a look at this and let's start making a few changes. So in our live preview, when we push the button, what it does is it creates cities.pdf. So that was my title. Um, we open it up then. So what we can see in here is uh, cities then is the title at the top of the page. We've got the IDs down along the left hand side, the countries then next to that, ranks uh, and next to that again. And over on the right hand side then we have the capital cities. So we've got a few different Finlands here in our table. So what we could do is we could easily add items to that table, convert it into JSON and um, save the whole thing then as a PDF using this extension. Okay, so if you found that useful, drop by the Thunkable community and don't forget to click the, the like button on Anders' post. Let him know that you found his extension uh, useful and that uh, you've used it to create your own PDF tables. Um, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and if you have any questions about future videos about PDFs um, I'm, going to, I'm going to make a few more but just wanted to introduce the topic uh, this way. So I hope you enjoyed it um, Keep on thinking and I'll see you in the next video